What's going on guys, Mountain Air Mitch here bringing you <clears throat> the post game for West Virginia versus Oklahoma. Final score, West Virginia 30, Oklahoma State 21, I think. Yeah. But, guys, this game's all about Clint Trigget. And can that boy, he has some football smarts. Um, you could tell he's inexperienced in the offense, but his maturity of knowing football is off the charts. And um, you could tell by the decision makings he made. Um, he had a lot of smart throws. Um, he looked a lot deep. And um, he had two interceptions. But And I know that doesn't seem like it was a smart decision. And, and some of the passes weren't very smart decision. But he's still learning the offense. But... He uh, he makes he uh, makes his co like you you can tell he's a coach's kid um, the way he presents himself um, just a very good football player um, I'm glad that he's actually stepping up into the role and the further this season goes on the better he'll get I believe um, he might struggle at times but I think if we make any more quarterback changes then that's crazy because uh, the maturity he had. Um, which what I which what I expected um, that uh, he uh, did a really good job. He ended up winning the game. Uh, West Virginia looked bad, very bad against Maryland offensive wise, and for them to put up the points they did and get a touchdown through the air and have a rushing touchdown um, is uh, very hopeful, I guess, for Mountaineer fans. And um, hopefully, we can go on and upset some more teams. We got Baylor next week at Baylor. That's going to be a tough road game. But, you know, we got to come in there and have a good game plan and execute it. Um, a concern for me about West Virginia is being able to run the ball. Uh, offense, and it's not really the running backs. It's more the offensive line. They're pretty young. But um, we got to be able to execute running the ball, and that pass will open up. Um, just... Um, a couple drop balls for West Virginia, a lot of drop balls for Oklahoma State, and that really hurt them. But um, West Virginia just looks like a whole different team than what they were last week, and I don't know if it's, I mean, they worked hard, you know, during the week, I've heard, and, you know, Clint Trigge came in there and played the game. He hurt his shoulder. Um, he still finished the game out. And I don't know if it was just like a nicked up shoulder or if he really hurt. I think if he really hurt, he wouldn't be in the game. But um, he went to the locker room and he came back out and he looked uh, pretty well. Um, they did throw the ball there. Um, one other concern for West Virginia is poor clock management down there on the goal line. But they were able to get the field goal, which really no harm done. But that's just something they need to work on more better. Um, Holgerson seemed to have troubles in the past with clock management, but uh, he's going to get it done. That's really about it, guys. Uh, my my post or my pregame for Baylor will be coming up this week. I'll have uh, another video of Alf's pick. Speaking of that, Alf is now five and zero. He picked Oklahoma or he picked West Virginia to beat Oklahoma State, which I thought he was crazy, but he picked it right. And uh, this dog somehow knows. I think that's him barking in the background. If you can hear that, sorry about that. That's really about it. Follow me down in the description. On Twitter, Instagram. Um, I'll be back next week. Mountain Image sign out. Peace.